Hey everyone, so in the last video I covered loading sounds, and in this one I'm going to be showing you how to record things and actually get a basic track going. So the first thing you want to do is what we did in the last video, enter browse mode and load up a drum kit. So I'll go to group, head over to my user kits because I have some cool kits saved there, go to my list and select one of them. So once you have that loaded you can exit browse mode and you have everything set and ready to play. So the first thing I do is just play around with the kit and find something that I actually want to record. It makes recording a lot easier when you actually know what you want to put into machine rather than figuring it out on, on the fly. So After messing around a little bit you'll find something that you want to do. Something like like that. So you have that in your head and you have your basic tempo set. So now what you want to do is match machine's tempo to the tempo in your head. So to do that, hold down shift and then you hit this tap tempo in time to what you want. Usually that's pretty good but you want to make sure. So hold down shift and turn on the metronome by hitting play and then just starting it. So now that your metronome is going, you want to play along and see if it actually matches. So that's quite a bit fast. So to fix that, um, hit the main button, and then here's your tempo adjustment. So to change it, and I'll obviously just turn the knob here. To do finer adjustments, hold it down and turn, or just turn it to whatever you want. So for this, I'll go a little bit slower and I'll try 80 BPM. So again, start it up and make sure that's your right tempo. All right, so everything has sounded good. You have your kit loaded and your tempo set. The next thing that you want to do is choose a pattern and get your pattern length to what you want it. So to do that, Hold down the pattern button and choose any of the pads to select a pattern 1 through 16. Um, it makes sense to start with pattern number 1. While you're holding down the pattern button, you can turn the knob to select your length. Usually I do 4 bars or 8 bars, but for this I'll do 2 just to keep it short. So with that, everything is set to record. You have your kit loaded, your tempo locked, your pattern set to the length you want. So when you're ready to record, you're going to hold down the shift button and the record and that's going to give you four beats to count in and then start recording so here we go So you record once and you don't really like it, not a problem. Just hold down shift and clear it and you're ready to try again. So everything is sounding good there. If you want to add anything on top, just keep the record button on and Play it. And you can hear how it's easy to layer sounds. So once you're playing around with that and you have a good beat going, the next thing you want to do is add some sort of synth line or EP or anything like that. So it's best to add that on a new group. To do that, hold down the group button and select your next group. And now the process is the same as before. Go into browse mode. Let's find an instrument. Um, I'll choose Razor for this one. Um, go to list and find anything you want. I remember a good one here. This one. So you can load your synth onto a new group and enter keyboard mode to play around with it. 
So you have your synth loaded and um, you want to figure out what sounds good with your drums. So just start them playing in the background and play around and find something you like. So that's sounding pretty good to me. When you're ready to record, you can exit browse mode and then do the same as before. Choose another pattern, set your length, and then hit shift and record when you're ready to go. So you can see it's pretty easy to layer everything and start getting a good track going. I think that about covers it for this video. I don't want to go too long. In the next one I'll be showing you how to edit the material you've recorded. So quantization, uh, moving things up and down, semitones, stuff like that. Editing, um, erasing stuff, lots of interesting stuff to come. So um, again, as always, let me know what you think of this tutorial in the comments. I really appreciate the feedback. If this is helpful, I'm really glad. If it's not, let me know what I can fix to help out. Um, I think that about covers it for this video, and stay tuned for the next one. Thanks, everyone.